guys, it's Half. I am back in. This is going to be an update of my Project 50 Pan Roulette that I've been doing for probably 18 months now. Um, I'm going to end this at the end of the year. Um, so I start the new year fresh. Uh, it's been an interesting month. I've used some products and I haven't finished anything, but I have products to get rid of. It's been interesting. Okay, first up. We have the MAC Vegas Vault, which, as usual, really doesn't look any different to how it has for ages. Um, I'll just... Yeah, I don't really look anything different. I didn't actually update this project in September. I completely forgot about it. Um, the last time I updated was in August, so like a month ago, which I suppose was in September, but it was actually August's update. Um, yeah. Not that it matters, but yeah, Vegas Vault is still going strong. I have used it several times, it just doesn't go anywhere. Uh, the next one is the Essence Eyebrow Stylist, which is looking, whoops, very different to how it was at the start of this project. Um, clearly I just used the top one. And I really like it, and yeah. But when I have finished that, I'm actually going to ditch it because I'm never going to use the darker side anyway. Had it for ages and it's essence, so it's not exactly expensive or anything if I wanted to uh, rebuy it at some point. But I have so many brow products to work my way through that it would not be for quite some time. Um, because of the age of this, um, I have had this for quite some time. Although, oh, it's well past the expiry date. Not all that far. I'm not hugely worried about it unless product stinks really bad or it's changed performance or whatever, which this one hasn't. But I am going to dish this one regardless of whether or not I finished it at the end of the year because I have more than got my money's worth out of it and there's all these other products sitting there waiting for me to actually use. Uh, next we have the Star... Um, Star Looks Ultra Olive Eye Pencil. I think I've probably only used this once since um, the last time and I haven't sharpened it even though it needs a f <laughs> it needs to be sharpened. Uh, yeah, if I sharpened it it would have gone down but I haven't sharpened it and it desperately needs one. Um, so not a huge amount of progress on it but uh, as I said I've got so many projects on the go that it hasn't got anywhere. <laughs> Then we have the W7 lipstick in whatever colour it is. Uh, it probably does not look any different. Um, I'll just, I'm like almost certain it won't look any different. Yeah. I'm wearing it today though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm notoriously bad at lipsticks. I'll work harder on it next year. Much, much harder on it next year. Um, next. Do you know? For the last month, every time I've looked at this, all of the products, like all the way down here, all the time, and I come to film a video, and it's all over the sides. <sighs> I'm not quite at the point of taking the stopper out, but... Oh, if you can see that, it is... It's literally, like, down here. I can usually scrape it off here, so it's going to be down here somewhere. So, once again, it's decided to not play nice with me, so I can't tell you exactly where it is. But I use this every time I do my makeup, and I like it, and I've already bought a backup, and yeah. I'll just keep using it. Although, again, I will probably declutter this at the end of the year, because it has had um, probably... I don't know what the, um, the, the, how long it's been opened thing these have, but this has probably been open for eight or nine months now, so I will see. I'll see how I feel at the end of the year. As I said, I have a backup and I have others, so. Um, then we have the Ingot Highlighter, 
which as everybody knows I was having like heaps of trouble with, didn't seem to be able to get anything off of it, kept getting hard pan all the time and I'd clean off the hard pan and as soon as I tried to use it again it would come back, I tried using it for eyeshadow one day and couldn't seem to pick up any pigment and I was getting really really frustrated, so what I decided to do the other day in a fit of absolute desperation because I paid a shit ton quite literally for this particular palette of like this highlighting powder not really a highlighting powder um, I decided to crush it up like the strips of color crush it up and repress it and this is now what it looks like it looks like a brand new product <laughs> but now I actually get product. Now, how well you can see that. Uh, so basically, there we go. I use it more like a blush topper because it is um, probably a bit too dark to be a highlighter on me, to be honest. Um, but now that I've repressed it, um, I crush it up and repress it. It works so much better. I'm actually reaching for it because I don't feel so frustrated by it. So I thought that was a good decision and now I actually want to use it. I'm not going to hit pan by the end of the year and that's fine. Then we have the NYX Control Freak. Um, I have decided that I'm actually going to declutter this now, like throw it out, whatever. It still has product in it, but... Come on camera, focus, focus, focus. It, it just, I don't know if anybody else has an issue with that, but when it gets to a certain point, I like it, it almost looks like it's getting clumpy bits and stuff in it. It looks, it just looks manky and nasty and I really just don't like it. It just makes me uncomfortable and as a result I haven't been reaching for it. So it's time for it to go. I liked it, but it wasn't great. I think in future I would stick with something like the e.l.f. one, which is in a much smaller package, and so you are more likely to use more product before it gets to that looking filthy type of... I mean, I know it's just eyebrow powder, but I just don't like it. So, yeah, I think I would in future stick to something that's a lot smaller with less product in it, so that that particular thing that I have with it looking manky is not such an issue. Um, yeah, so that one is out. We have the L'Oreal lip liner, which I have used several times. This thing, I swear somebody is coming along in the middle of the night and adding extra. Actually, no. It has moved. <laughs> but, you know, some products just seem to... Um, keep going and going and going. So, it's fairly consistent progress on this. Um, I feel like it's taking me forever, but probably because I'm just not wearing makeup enough. And it's not actually the lip liner I've been reaching for. I've been reaching for a different one. So, okay. Bottom line is where we are now. And the one above it was where we were a month ago. Just over a month ago. So, there we go. We have made progress. Yay. Then, on the next page. We have the eyeshadow pigment. This is Obscure from Glamour Doll Eyes. I love this stuff. I have been using this as my initial transition shade. Oh, come on, focus. Um, oops. Pretty much every single time I do my eyeshadow, it you can sheer it out so it's really really soft and gentle or you can put it on a lot more heavily and get like a much darker smoky look um if you saw one of my recent get ready with me you'll see what happens when you don't tap off your brush properly and you get lots and lots of pigment on one side and not very much on the other um yeah but i am really really enjoying using this when i do my makeup which actually surprises me because i didn't think i was going to like it but i do so that's that one. Uh, 
Then we have the Benefit Professional, um, which is just a little one. Um, I'm not crazy about it, but I don't hate it. In fact, I like it more now than I did before. I think it was just... I don't know, I basically have to use it all over my face to feel good about it. If I only like put it in certain spots, it just doesn't seem to work. I don't know what that is. Um, also part of it might have been the foundation I was using. We'll get to that. Um, but yeah. I'm I'm not I'm not hating as much as I did. So but I haven't really made a huge amount of progress. Probably yeah, probably about there. But um, I've been trying to use up Another one that I've got, just a small sample of, not professional, another primer. You know what I mean. Um, <laughs> and we have the Watt eyeshadow from the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette, which is this one right here, which I really, really like. I happen to really, I realise I really like green and blue eyeshadow. I know a lot of people don't. But I do. I love green and blue eyeshadow. Uh, the liquid eyeliner from Almay. This I thought was dead. I always think this is dead. And then I go and use or almost dead. And then I go and use it again. And it's fine. I've been using this thing for so long. And I it just, it's not drying up. This is one that will be going at the end of the year if it's not dead yet. Because it's been open for ages and yeah, and it's an eye product, so this one will definitely be going at the end of the year, regardless. The next one that is going to be out of this project and out of my collection, um, I'm really sorry to Mara Jane. <laughs> this is the Body Shop Foundation uh, in 04. The colour is basically fine. It's actually what I'm wearing right now. But the finish on this, on me, is just terrible. It sinks into every single pore and line and accentuates especially every single imperfection on my face. It, it does not like my skin. And it doesn't matter which primer I use, um, on my forehead it just goes instantly into my like really deep creases. So what I was starting to do was basically putting it on my forehead and then sitting like this so I didn't wrinkle up my forehead. And like setting it so that it wouldn't move around too much. And, and I sort of like halfway through the month I took it out and then I put it back in. I was like, come on, you've got to give it a chance. And I have used you know, a bit of it. Um, I tried putting less on, I tried putting more on, I tried mixing it with other foundations and all sorts of stuff and basically what it comes down to after today, after putting on today, what it comes down to is I don't like this foundation and this foundation does not like me. So I am going to uh, get rid of it and clearly Tamara probably felt the same way seeing as how she got rid of it but um, yeah this is, this is not for me, it's what I would do. Let us get up close and personal. Can you? It is super duper patchy and disgusting on my skin. It just looks so terrible. And like from a distance, it looks fine, but like on my forehead, it looks terrible. And I get these like weird patches like this. Hopefully that wasn't too scary for you. Um, but that's why I don't like it and that's why I'm getting rid of it. And I have given it multiple chances. I don't like you. <laughs> um, the next one is the Giordana Quick Liner. This does not stay in my waterline. It migrates. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, I have used it a couple of times with, that, with a little bit of success where I basically, before I put my eyeshadow on, I put it on my top eyelid and then I um, smudge it out a bit and then put eyeshadow over the top, which is what I used to do when I was a teenager. Um, I, I, will, I will get it used. It does look... It's, it's like this much left. At least these ones wind down again when you wind them all the way up. 
Um, yeah, so I'm not... I have so many black eyeliners. I'm just trying to use them. Just trying to use them. And the last one is another one, which is going to be... <laughs> I'm taking this out of a project because I really, really don't like it. And I don't like the way it performs. And um, although it's... I'm probably just going to throw it out, which seems like a bit of a waste of money because I only just bought it and I only just started it. Um, I could potentially rework it to make it work, but at this point in time, I'm just not feeling it. Um, and that is the Essie Apricot Cuticle Oil. Now, I love cuticle oil. I use it all the time. And I don't know what it is with this particular cuticle oil, but this actually dries my cuticles out. They were looking so crusty after two weeks of using this. My cuticles usually look pretty good after two weeks of using this stuff that are freaking terrible. And I was just so disappointed. So what I actually did is I went and bought some jojoba oil. And in my little hen thing that I'm using, I mixed in some jojoba oil, which has improved it but not enough for me to like this particular product at all and I really don't even want to fix it and like put jojoba oil in the rest of it and actually use it up because I dislike it that much <laughs> like I just think it is that terrible don't particularly like the smell either um, but whatever they have put in this which I don't even know because there's no ingredient list on this it does not work for my skin whatsoever. So this is one that I'm taking out because I just cannot handle actually using it. Um, my nails are super important to me and anything that makes them look crusty, I'm going to get rid of. <laughs> That's just how it is. So that actually means that I have three more spots to fill up and that will actually take me to 50 products actually picked over the last sort of 18 months so I'm not necessarily going to fi finish 50 products but I will have used 50 products which I think is actually good enough um, these will be the last three that I actually pull I'm not going to pull any uh, next month or in December I'm just going to work through what I've actually got and see how much of it I can actually use or get rid of um, and you know I don't have this was a full jar when we started <laughs> I think I only had 75, so yeah. Um, so I'm going to pick three, and if I pick ones I really don't like, I'm just going to blow them. So. Okay, so the three categories I ended up deciding to go with were coloured eyeliner, uh, body lotion, and product of choice, because that made it easier. So for the coloured eyeliner, I am going with this lol first prize which is a just broke it my god <laughs> it's it's a right there it's a gold eyeliner um I have tried using this up before and didn't get very I, I don't have don't have a huge amount left in this one. And if it breaks off again, it's going to go even quicker. I just lost like 5 mil of it, so... So that is the coloured eyeliner. For the body lotion, I'm actually going to go with these two samples. Just can't cheat but I don't care, it's my project. Uh, this one is the Natralis which is a local brand to where I am. Um, this is pawpaw, aloe vera, and vitamin E. There really doesn't appear to be, this is like a one use sample. There's really not a lot in there. It doesn't even tell me how much is in there. Normally these tell you like 10 mil or whatever. This just tells me how big a container you can get it in. Um, and the other one is a Palmer's Shea Formula raw shea body lotion. Um, I've used up a sample by Palmer's before. I'm not a huge fan of the smell of shea butter, um, but again this might only be one use, but I actually have 
one or two other body lotions I'm working on at the same time. So, um, yeah. But that'll just be two more things out of my collection, which is really what I'm after. And the product of choice is this Amy Deep Pore Exfoliating Polish. I'm using a different exfoliator at the moment, but um, it's not in any projects, so <laughs> I figured I'd pull in this one and put it in this particular project. This should be easily used by the end of the year. Um, yeah, so that is that. So that is my update for my Project 50 Pan Roulette. I will be back hopefully in a month to update this again, which will probably be the second to last update. And then of course I will do a finale at the end of the year or the start of next year. Um, to finish off this project. So leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos. Leave, if you want to subscribe, click the button down below, click the bell for notifications, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.